Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And here I am with another video. As you can see that there is a Jeep right there and the customer bought a center console or assembled, but it's not fitting right. On this video, I will show you how you can make a center console like this or similar, similar to this one fitting right. I understand why this center console is not fitting right. You can see it. The customer bought it like that. It's moving. The center console is plain on the bar bottom. This floor is not plain. You can see it. It's uneven. I have to make a base to see the center console and screw the center console on the base. I will show you how. First thing first, you have to make like a pattern before you're going to make a center console or a base for the center console. You have to make sure under the carpet is not cable or not holes, nothing like that. Make sure that. So I get a, a harbor and I start making like a pattern. You can see, follow the shape of the floor. And a little by little, I am getting the shape of the part right there. A little by little. I will cut it right here. On the front, I don't want to raise a lot. I just want like a half inch, no more than three quarters of an inch on the front. So I'm making sure that you can use a chipboard or cardboard to make a pair. So I take that to the table. I will cut right there, like I said before, I don't want that piece of, of the base to reach more than a three quarters of an inch of the front. So I will transform this pattern into the wood. I put on top of the wood and I, I start tracing all around. Add two pieces, I will show you how you can cut one, then you can figure out how to cut the other side. Basically, it is the same. I will use a jigsaw and I will use a circular blaze. Circular saw. This wood is a um, half inch, but you can use a three quarters of an inch or one inch. I would say one inch is too much, too thick. So I got that piece already, it's gonna be two, then I get the center console, I put them on top of the wood, and I will get the same dimension of the center console. I need to cut a piece of wood. Then I get the circular blades and I start cutting. If you have a, a circular saw, in a straight, when you're going to cut, make like a straight cut, it is so efficient. With the jigsaw, you can use a jigsaw, but it is kind of hard to cut them straight. Of course, long time ago, I used a jigsaw. I didn't have a, a circular blade, circular saw. Then I put glue on the wood. I put a staple, and you can see it. I put a lot of wood glue and I am putting a lot of staple right there. The staple that I am using is an inch and a half long. And I will cut a piece of wood for right here. In thing, I put glue and I will put a piece of glue in there and I will hold with the staple. Then I will use a grinder uh, to sand that 
area. It is necessary. Well, it is not necessary because I will wrap that piece with carpet, same carpet that is on the floor. You can see there is the base that I make. Eh? And it is like kind of flat that area right now. And I put the center console and perfect. That's all what we need. I'm going to use the same carpet. I will wrap that piece of wood with carpet. I put a lot of glue on around the piece of wood, same thing on the carpet, and then I will let it dry. Then I put glue inside too. You can see um, inside I paint it with, uh, I use a paint. Even right there, it's not gonna show, but I just paint it on black. I can put a stitch on the corner on the back side of that base, but believe me, with that carpet, it's gonna look like weird because it's too thick. I uh, just cut it and over overlay, and to me, uh, look better like that instead of stitch something simple huh so simple sometimes when you are learning uh, it's hard to figure out how to make a simple thing and I understand a hundred percent that part because I have been there I have been through that. That is the base. I put a staple. To be honest, a staple are not necessary on there because it is wood. I put a lot of glue to hold the carpet. I bring the base to the car. First thing I had to find out the center because I don't want the base to be more to the left or to the right. I need to put them exactly on the center. Then I will put a five screw. Before to drill a hole or to put a screw, make sure nothing is behind the carpet. Nothing is outside the car with a, sometimes there is a cable or hose, hose with liquid. Make sure if you are not sure what is behind the carpet or what is underneath the car, don't make a hole. Please, please don't make a hole if you are not sure what is under the carpet or behind the uh, or outside the car very important because you can get on trouble so after i check nothing is behind i just put five uh a screw then i bring the center console it's kind of heavy because it's metal it's heavy it needs a screw yes it needed even it is sit on the uh, flat base I will use those kind of screw chrome screw with a uh, watcher and inch and a half long those screw you need a screw because even if it is flat that area it might move when the car is on the street it might move I want that uh, center console to be solid sit in there and there it is. You can see the five uh, chrome screw in there. I will put something to cover those screw. I didn't show you that part, but I did. I put like same carpet, and there it is. Sometimes the easy thing, the customer don't know how to do it, and that's why he bring it to me, and I did it. You saw the process, it's nothing hard. It is something easy. You just have to have the tool, you have to have the material to do it but on this video i give you an idea how you can do it in case if you didn't know thank you so much for watching this video see you on the next video